Shalom and welcome to all of you. We are delighted that you're here and tonight we come to build this world with a little bit more love by our sitting together and our praying together. I see many familiar faces and guests to our congregation. We are so pleased that you're here and hope that each and every one of you will be comfortable participating in our service both in song and in prayer. I want to remind you at this moment to Check your cell phone, make sure it's been silenced, and we ask you to put it away to help preserve the sanctity of our time together and our service together. I hope that you grabbed a prayer book on your way into the chapel this evening. And at this point, we're going to turn to pages two and three, pages two and three in the prayer book for our candle blessing. And it is my privilege to call up our B'nai Mitzvah, Xander and Jacob, along with their parents, Corey and Brian, and Julie and Stephen, to help us kindle the lights of Shabbat. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. O source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness, help us to find knowledge by which to live. Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless all who enter this sanctuary in need, all who bring the offerings of their hearts. May our worship lead us to acts of kindness, peace, and love.
We continue welcoming Shabbat with Lechu Neranana, which can be found on your handout. Lechu Part of the liturgy Kabbalat Shabbat, which is welcoming the Sabbath. Page 20, you'll find the words to Lachadodi. And as is our custom, when we get to the final verse, we will rise as a congregation to turn and face the doorway to welcome the entry of the Sabbath bride. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. 
candles have been lit, we welcome the Sabbath bride, and now it's a moment to turn to one another with words of welcome and Shabbat Shalom. Please extend your hand to someone you don't yet know and wish them Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I'm going to switch this. We continue on page 28, page 28 with the Baruch Hu. On the top of 31. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and seasons glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hama'ariv Aravim.
please be seated. It's now my pleasure to invite Jacob Sachs to the Bima to lead us in via hafta. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands marching together. to continue with Vishamru, which can be found at the top of page 44. We're reminded that this is one of the key liturgical pieces that remind us that today is not just like any other day. Today is Shabbat. It's a day that is different than the other days of the week. And when we pray every day, we don't include this prayer only on Shabbat. It is a prayer that reminds us to guard or keep or protect Shabbat. And just as we keep it, it helps to keep us refreshed and whole. We pray together. Vishamru. Fish am Israel. <laughs> 
ששת ימים עשה אדוני, עשה אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ prayer books now to page 46 where you'll find the words for our tefillah prayer. I invite Xander Crater forward to lead us. Would you all please rise for Amida? Adonai sefer taitif tach ufi agitehi latecha Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Velohe avoteinu, Vimoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Velohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Velohe Lea, Ha El Hagadol, Hagibor, Vehanara, El El Yon, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vekone Hako, Vezoher Haste Avod Vimaot, Ume Vige Ula Livne Venehem, Leman Shemo Beahava, Melech Ozer Umashia Umagain, Baruch Atah Adonai, Magain Avraham Bezrat Sarah, Atagi Borle Lam Adonai, Mechaye Hakol Atarav Leoshia, Mashiv Haruach Umarid Hagashem. Mechakel Hayim Behesed, Mechaye Hako Berachamim Rabim, So Mech no Flim Verofe Holim, Umatir Asurim, Umekaye Memunato Lishene Yafa, Mihamoha Bal Gevurot. Umi domelach, melech me mi to mechaye, umat me ak yeshua, venamana talachayot hako, baruha tadanai, haye hako. Ataka dosh vishim haka dosh, ukadoshim boho yom ye haleluha sela. Baruch atah Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. You may be seated. Fifty-nine, page fifty-nine. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth which day by day sustains us, for all these and more we offer thanks. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha Ulacha Na'e Lehodot. We pray together on page 60, Shalom Rav.
take this special moment in this sacred space to offer the prayer that each one of us carries into this room tonight, the prayer of our heart and our meditation of our soul. We continue silently. Shabbat, we think about those in our community who are in need of more shalem, more wholeness, who are in need of healing. And so as we turn to page 253 and prepare to sing together our Misha Beirach prayer, asking God, who's been a source of healing and strength for our ancestors, also be that same source of healing and strength for us. We pray for the following members of our community and their dearest ones who are in need of healing. Bradley Borden, Melba Berman, Jennifer Carey, Michelle Cohen, Richard Dana, Diane Dante, Larry Felt, Roseanne Finkel, Alan Garber, Sarah James, Lou Kravitz, Barry Kurtz, Joel K. Levy, Lawrence Levy, Robert Mendelson, Greg Orsack, Valerie Pugue, Roger Williams, Esther Bat Zipora, and Chenya Rachel Mindel Bat Aharon Bat Zipora. For all who are suffering, 
for all those whose spirits are in any way diminished or darkened, we pray that this Shabbat will be a ray of light and of peacefulness. We pray together, Mishaberach. announcements for this evening. Please remain with us through the conclusion of tonight's service so that we have an opportunity to say Kiddush and Motzi together as a community. We are thankful to Xander and Jacob's families for so generously providing the challah and wine in honor of their B'nai Mitzvah. If you had an opportunity to get a Shabbat handout on your way into the Proler Chapel this evening, please make note of the following upcoming events within our community Additional information on each of the things I'm about to announce can be found in the handout. I want to remind you that our synagogue's administrative offices will close at 12 noon on Wednesday, November 27th, and reopen on Monday, December 2nd. Our Shabbat services next Friday, November 29th, will be enhanced by visual tefillah and will take place at the regular 6 p.m. time. Emmanuel is proud to be partnering with University Place and Neartown Association to host a City Council District C candidate forum on Tuesday, December the 3rd at 6 p.m. All are welcome. And finally, our sisterhood will host Broadway Stories Behind the Stage on Wednesday, December 4th at 6.30. We ask you to please RSVP so we can plan accordingly. So it started just more than a month ago when I asked Jeff what kind of turkey he wanted me to shop for. Now you need to know that Jeff likes to cook and is a very good cook. And when it comes to turkey, he does not mess around. He is known by all who have ever tasted his turkey to be a highly skilled turkey maker. To prove my point, I'll just say that he is so fond of making turkey that after looking to buy a bone-in turkey breast last spring, yes, we make turkey all year round, and not finding one in many different stores, he took matters into his own hands and asked a store manager where he knew he had previously bought one to order a case of them for him. Yes, a case. That's six frozen bone-in turkey breasts. We made and ate each and every one of them. And to say that it's just turkey wouldn't be accurate. Jeff likes his stuffing the way he likes it, claims that gravy should be declared its own food group, and only his Aunt Maureen's sweet potatoes will do. And then a little pumpkin pie with whipped cream to end the meal. While he likes mashed potatoes and my sister's green bean casserole, he could take them or leave them. The other things are non-negotiable. So quickly realizing that Thanksgiving is around the corner, I went on my hunt for the perfect turkeys because we stock up at this season. We buy one really huge turkey that Jeff makes and we take to our friends for the holiday. Then we buy smaller turkeys to keep in the freezer for Hanukkah time and the months ahead. One of the people that I'm most grateful for this week is the kind meat department employee 
who canvassed the outdoor frozen turkey trailer to find the largest one and schlep it back into the store for me. While on the surface, the Thanksgiving holiday is about a large meal most often featuring a large cooked bird. More than that, it is really about traditions. It is about returning to what is familiar and often comfortable, especially food stuff. For many of us, the tastes of our childhood go hand in hand with the relationships of our childhood. The embracing of adoring grandparents, laughing with cousins as we sit around the kids' table, and visits from out-of-town family. While Thanksgiving is not technically a Jewish holiday that we read about in the Torah, as with any holiday, traditions are important, and we tend to do things the way we remember them being done, which sets the tone for how they will be done for years to come. This message of tradition shines forth from our Torah portion. In this week's parasha, Chaye Sarah, Isaac encounters two major life passages. His mother dies and he finds a wife. We don't have a clear sense from the text of how much time passes from one event to the next. But we do learn that the two are closely linked for Isaac. In the final verse of Genesis 24, we read, Isaac then brought her into the tent of his mother, Sarah, and he took Rebecca as his wife. Isaac loved her and thus found comfort after his mother's death. In our post-Freudian age, the idea of Isaac consummating his marriage in the tent of his deceased mother might strike us as, well, interesting. Especially anticipating Thanksgiving week when many of us and our family members will be in each other's homes for the long four-day holiday, perhaps sleeping on sofas and doubling up bathrooms, we might reasonably ask, why doesn't Rebecca get her own tent? What is the significance of Isaac taking Rebecca into Sarah's tent? And furthermore, can we find an explanation for the easing of Isaac's mother's loss that does not take us into the realm of the psychosexual? Rashi, the 12th century French commentator, writes, he brought her into the tent, and behold, she is his mother Sarah. That is, she became the image of his mother Sarah. Ah. So far, no help here. <laughs> Not only does Isaac spend his wedding night in his late mother's chamber, but the bride, according to our most renowned Torah scholar, suggests she becomes the image of her mother. At this point, you may be thinking about a famous Torah passage where we find ourselves tripping over this word image, in the image of Sarah. Could Rashi have used the language of image here without thinking of Demut Elohim, the image of God in which humankind was created? Unlikely. And so if we read on, we learn that Rebecca became the image of Sarah in just the same way that human beings reflect the image of an immaterial God, spiritually, not physically, through our deeds and our values, not our appearance. When Sarah was alive, Rashi continues, a light burned from one Shabbat to the next, miraculously. A blessing was always in the dough. It miraculously increased in quantity. And a cloud hung over the tent, indicating God's presence. When she died, these things ceased. And when Rebecca arrived, they returned. Rashi cites a passage from Midrash Rabbah that tells us that Isaac had previously observed Rebekah following the same practices of holiness and purity that his mother had followed, the same traditions. And this is what precipitated the return of the miracles that had attended his mother. In other words, Rebekah honored what Sarah had honored. She valued what Sarah had valued, and by extension, what Isaac had learned to value from his own infancy. Isaac had not found a mother replacement in Rebecca. He had found a perfect partner, one who understood and shared his traditions. As important as it is, especially in today's multicultural and often fractitious world, our open minds to other ideas and opinions of people who come from very, very different backgrounds, most of us still place great importance and find satisfaction in creating families 
that reflect and transmit our dearest beliefs. These shared values can elevate the celebratory times of our life and carry us through the most difficult of losses and crises. Traditions become richly valued customs that are so often repeated because they add meaning to our lives. Traditions help to punctuate time and mark the passage of time in a precious way that both holds safe to the past and in the best cases invites those new to the tradition to become linked in. This is true, of course, for holidays, but also for life cycle moments, as Xander and Jacob and their families can attest to this weekend. And so on this Shabbat, as we celebrate so much and look ahead to Thanksgiving, whenever we gather with our families, may we find comfort in familiar customs and shared perspectives, even as we learn to embrace and celebrate our inevitable differences. Shabbat Shalom. We now turn back to our prayer books to page 282. The words for Aleinu L'Shabach can be found at the bottom of the page. As the ark is opened, would you all please rise? Aleinu L'Shabach L'Adon HaKol L'Atet Gidula L'Yotzer Breshit Shalo asanu kegoye haaratzot, velo samanu kemishpechot adama. Shalo samachel kenu kahem, vegoraleinu kechol hamonam. Panachnu koyim umishtachavim umodim. Page 287. Page 293. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. I invite you to take a few quiet moments to remember those who have lived that you have lost and how their memories still remain sweet. We think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us. Our hearts go in sympathy to the families of Pauline Melnick Fischel, Jenny Sussman, Elaine Levy Prohler, and Robin Sagion, all laid to their eternal resting places just in recent days. And we lovingly remember those who died at this season in years past, whose yard site, the anniversary of their death, falls on this Shabbat. Stanley Aronson. Carl Adato, William Baker, Dorsey Barnes, Joe Barvin, Esther Schultz Barvin, Frida Bauer, Sam Beck, Shirley Elaine Cantor Becker, Carol Betty Burkett, Lenore Berenberg, Gerald Berenson, Barbara Rosenblum Berger, Sylvia Berner, Leon Blonstein, Leonard E. Blumberg, Leo K. Brenner, Jeffrey Brooks, Philip Brooks, 
Reba Burston, Isidore Cauldron, Kurt Karsh, Selma Coburn, Saul Cook, Mabel Darsky, Shira Delano, Lillian Farr, Ruth Feld, Ronald B. Feldman, Stephen Douglas Feldman, Sam Felt, Hal Fleming, George Frederick, Bob Friedberg, Ellis A. Frieden, Adeline Lee Goldsman, Daryl Goldstucker, Zachary Goodwin, Vivian Greenfield, Helene Grogan, Sylvia Goodell, Hilda Hoffrecht, Anne C. Herman, Etta Hirsch, Dorothy L. Hoffman, Jack Robert Horn, Anne Jasloff, Rabbi Robert I. Kahn, Vega Karish, Martin Keeler, Philip L. Klein, Philip H. Cole, Amelia Goodman Crone, Ruth Vin Hendler Lack, Harold Hal Lapidus, Tammy Levine, Jacob Levy, Abba Lipman, Max Lipschitz, Charles Lipton, Martha B. Loeb, Larry M. Masson, Louisa Meyer, Rhea Meyerson, Selma G. Miller, Donna Moore, Abraham Moskowitz, Lillian Nathan, David Navan, Miriam Nelson, Betty Pellenberg, Jack Perlman, Celia Pesikoff, Chrysia Pinkinson, Eve Riesenberg, Louis Rubenstein, Mildred Mimi Rubin, Mildred Rubin, Virginia Russo, Lester Salzberg, Alfreda Child, Marie Schlamme, Norman Schnorr, Michael Schnorr, Jacob Schultz, Sam Shabbat, Samuel Sandy Simkin, Ruth Skolnick, Richard Slavin, Lillian Rackerson Sline, Kathleen Webb Smith, Celia Sokol, Homer H. Stallero, Muriel G. Stanley, David Stern, Sam L. Stolben, Edward William Stuhl, Ida Shabzen Tankel, Rachel Totter Almeida, Gussie Vogelfang, Sally Glover Waldenberg, Abe Walter, Hilda Wasserberg, Lily Weinstein, Benjamin Wexler, Herbert J. Winter, Emmanuel Wolf, Isidore Yonet. With grief and sympathies mingled, we rise as one congregation to praise God with the words of Kaddish on page 294. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah, b'yalma divrach yirutei v'yamlik malchutei, b'chayechon v'yomechon v'chayedechol beit Yisrael, b'agala v'izman kari v'imru, amen. Yehei shmei rabah mevarach le'olam olamei amaya, yit barach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnasei, v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shemei d'kudusha b'rihu, La Ela Minko Birchata Vashirata, Tushbechata Venachemata, Da Amiram Bialma Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shamaya, Vehaim Alenu Vi Alko Yisrael Vimru, Amen. O Se Shalom Bim Romav, Huya A Se Shalom, Alenu Vi Alko Yisrael Vimru, Amen. O Se Shalom Bim Romav. Uyah se shalom haleinu ve'alko Israel ve'imeru amen. So now we continue with Kiddush and Motzi. I invite our B'nai Mitzvah back up to the bima. Xander and Jacob, please join us. And their siblings, Maya, Ryan and Maya, please come up. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri HaGafem. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, 
Asher kishanu b'mitzvotav v'ratzavanu v'shabat kodesho be'ahava uvratzon hinilanu zikaron lemaase v'reshit ki hu yom tehila lemikrae kodesh zeher l'tziyat mitzrayim kivanu v'harta v'otanu kidashta mikol hamim v'shabat kodesha v'ahava uvratzon hin haltanu Baruch atah Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat Amen L'chaim Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lehem in haaretz. Amen. We close tonight with the song we began with, Olam Chesed, We Build This World With Love, that can be found in your handout. <laughs> our God, God of our mothers and our fathers, as we are commanded to build this world with love. One of the ways we do that is by embracing rituals and traditions and customs with the people we love the most. Oh God, we ask for your blessing in words that are ancient and hallowed by time. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the light of God's presence shine down upon you. Be very sweet and gracious to you. Yisa Adonai Panave Lecha Veyasem Lecha Shalom. May God's goodness and brightness and love always be turned to you and grant you the greatest blessing of all. Peace. Amen. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Mazel Tov. Yeah. Don't forget your books.